Hey Libra, welcome to your word on the street reading for this week. Yes, yes. I'm actually doing this reading on Halloween. This is Halloween, this is Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. <laughs> I'm being funny. So, ha ha ha. <laughs> Maybe this week you, you think you're being funny, Libra. But you're the only one laughing. <laughs> so what? I'm hearing, remember the times when they used to laugh at you? Who's laughing now? Mm-hmm. And what's wild is your channeled song, I, I got it channeled to me this morning, but I'm just going to say it's for this whole week. No effort, Libra. No effort. By T. Grizzly. He's from Detroit. Shout out to the 313. And guess what? My guides told me to watch the video, right? So I watched the video. And in the very beginning of the video, guess what number flashes on the screen? You guessed it. To those that are watched the last reading I did about the fool. 300, Libra. 300. And it made me, rem it reminded me because I brought out this deck and I already saw the full card and with the number 300 at the bottom. And now we have the three of wands at the bottom. So all this three energy. I do want to pull some from this Oracle deck first just to get a little bit of energy before the tarot. Little messages. Okay. Word on the street, Libra. Word on the street, Libra. Libra, you got them stressing. Stress, turbulence, tension, arguments. I think you have... If it's not you under stress, which I hope it is not. I think this is people actually arguing about you people in relationships, maybe their partner is attracted to you, and none of this is your fault, okay? You could be on like a high right now because I just saw the ecstasy card, so you could really be riding high right now, Libra, in your lives. Word on the street, Libra. Only you, whoa, devoted, attached, crave. You have somebody stressed because they only want you. <laughs> they crave you, Libra. This person is in pain. Apprehensive, afraid, cautious. And I mean like pain because they, they're not with you. You know what I mean? Pain because they can't be with you. I'm getting like forbidden love or not forbidden, but <sighs> distance whether emotional or physical. Okay, they're confused. Uncertain, unclear, and unsure. They're also uncertain about how you feel. Whoever's energy I'm picking up on, Libra. Whoa! That's because they have been under a curse. I've never even seen this card before. This is a new deck. Hex, witchcraft, negative mind. Wow, this person has been under some type of curse. Has been put, has been cursed. Black magic hex by uh, someone else, Libra. Jeez. The pain card just flipped out. at the bottom now perspective better off happiness clear headspace
What about this pain card? Oh, hold on, Libra. Jeez. <laughs> oh, abandoned, left out, walked away, cold. Maybe you ghosted this person. They feel abandoned. Open heart is at the bottom, receptive, empathy, vulnerable. This person does not like to feel vulnerable. I believe, Libra, the word on the street is you have a lot of empathy. And your heart is open. Let's see what the tarot says. Word on the street. Libra. Knight of Wands. You're looking very attractive. What's the word on the street about Libra? Two of Swords, Ghost, with the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. Okay, Libra. Are you known to ghost? Are you known to go ghost on them? I mean, I don't blame you. It's like one too many red flags. Ghost, I will be called. I'll be called the Ghostly Ashley because, yes, I will go ghost on you. If I see one too many red flags, it's like I'm not playing those games. Libra, word on the street is you're not playing any games. Especially when it comes to your fortune, your destiny. Okay? There are definitely others on the dark side because he's holding a staff. And it looks like it's an upside down cross on the staff. The dark side could be sending, like, watchers around you this week. Two different watchers, because there's two different... This is the two of swords, right? And then, look, there's two different cloaked figures in this Wheel of Fortune card. <clears throat> Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Ghost, Inquisitor. You have people wanting, they're being very inquisitive about your life, who you are. They're trying to find out more about you. For sure. Maybe you like, I heard, leave without a trace. It's hard to pin you down. It's hard to to locate you, track you, know your next move, Libra. Good. Keep that up. Keep that energy. Keep that same energy. <laughs> Libra. Oh. What's the word on the street? Let's go. I felt it. The griffin is here. Libra says, I'm not playing any games. I'm not here to play any games. This is the strongest, most like high-ranking spiritual guardian that there is, the griffin. And the griffin has been our personal, our personal spirit animal guardian for how long now, Libra? It's been coming out in not only this deck, but another deck. It's here. Protection all around you. Heavenly ties, I just heard, because the eagle flies the highest, the closest to the heavens. I just heard heavenly ties. Very protected. Just heard divine lineage. The bottom of the deck, wow. Okay, 
Those are both Libra cards, the Two of Swords and the Three of Swords. You're definitely in your own power and energy this week, Libra. That's the word on the street as well. And not only are you like a ghost, protected, griffin <laughs> energy, you've got this starseed, alien-esque vibe going on. impossible to pin down, impossible to put into a box is what I'm hearing. Because literally, these are three beans that you absolutely cannot put into a box, right? The griffin, which is its own mythological creature, with but an immense amount of divine power associated with it, though. An immense amount of divine power associated with it. The ghost. How are you going to box? How are you going to put a ghost in a box? Okay. <laughs> I just heard, like, instead of jack in a box, ghost in a box. It's like, how's that possible? It's not. And how are you going to put an alien in a box when they can just teleport up out of there, like, beam me up, Scotty. Libra, you are irreplaceable, unlike any other, very popular, and I have to end this reading here. If you liked it, give me a big thumbs up. I appreciate you. Stay balanced. Stay blessed. Peace, Libra.